first of all. Dan, how was your summer and what did you get up to? Uh, brilliant summer. Um, re re really good, really enjoyed it. Good, good amount of uh, thinking and prep done, ready for, ready for this season, but uh, also managed some time down in Galway at the house we've got down there and, and popped over to uh, um, see, see some family and see my kids in Scotland, so it was great. So can you tell us a bit about the pre-season plans and what the players will be getting up to? A lot of uh, athletic development, so um, the athletic performance team has a big part to play, but uh, we're straight into rugby from day one as well, so on Monday we were uh, doing skills and, and introducing little bits of attack and little bits of defence and uh, even a bit of forward play and back play as well so they'll, they'll do bits of everything early on it's, uh, it's pretty scientific nowadays so the amount that they can do is, is uh, uh, very strictly controlled and, and you know, we, we have to do a lot of planning in terms of getting what we want to get done done within the physical parameters that we uh, that we have. So from what you've just said can you sum up Ulster's pre-season in one word? I asked, I asked one of the players that, uh, and he said hurt, uh, but that's not what I said, uh, crack is, uh, <laughs> is brilliant crack, like, uh, but uh, then I don't have to do it, so. <laughs> so you have a new addition to your coaching setup with Craig Newby as a skills coach, how excited are you to have him on board? Oh, it's brilliant to have Craig, um, you know, he, uh, he brings a, a wealth of playing experience, um, a wealth of leadership experience. You know, Craig's been uh, um, out of the professional game um, for a while, but he's been uh, working in a, a, a school in, in the south of England. And you know, him and uh, um, Dominique have moved over, and you know, he's a he, he, he's a good man. Uh, he's steeped in uh, uh, education and, uh, and and teaching, which is exactly what we want. We go after that here. You know, you've got to be a really good, uh, really good teacher and really good um, coach. Um, in all, all aspects of that side of things and you know, he knows the game well so he, he'll be a brilliant addition to the, the, the team. So the 2021-22 squad has been announced, what are your thoughts on the confirmed squad? It's, it's exciting like we've uh, you know we you know we put a, a lot of store over the over the last uh, three years and bringing through young fellas and you know, the, the, the fact that uh, uh, so many of them are, are still here and, and battling for those places in, in the first team is, is, is great and you know we've, we've got a lot of new uh, um, uh, signings on development contracts of, of guys who come through the academy which is you know, also a testament to the, to the work that's, that's gone on there and you know as a, as a club we're, uh, um, we're, we're very focused on that, that, that kind of sustainable development mental model which you know re relies on on um, guys coming through um, and, and taking opportunities but, but also the the development of the uh, of the guys who are already in place and you know that that that, that squad is 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 very exciting and, and you know over the last three years those the, the, those guys have achieved a lot and you know we hope they can push on this year and then finally, you know, everyone's thoughts are going towards the match nights at Kingsman again and finally welcoming fans back. How important is it that fan presence on a match night for yourself and the squad? I, I, I think it's huge. You know, I, I, I think you, you only have to look at the statistics from, from last year across professional sport and you know how much easier it was to win away from home um, when, when the support um, uh, wasn't there uh, for, for, the, for the home team. Now, if you then factor in that um, the fact that we have the best support in the league, um, obviously that affects us more than it affects anybody else. So, um, you know, just anecdotally, be, being being at the ground on a on a Friday night or you know a, um, a big weekend in Champions Cup and you know, in fact, any night, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, it's brilliant to be able to run out to uh, stand up for the Ulsterman and. You know, just, just, just hear the passionate nature of the crowd. You know, it inspires the guys. A huge part of what we do is fight for every inch. You know, it's competing for everything. It's fighting for everything, and you know, that that comes out of the crowd as much as it comes out of the players.